Hello, everyone. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing okay. Today, I have a small haul, okay? I took back um, a shampoo, okay? So, in return, I bought something right from the store. So, still pay the same amount of money. But, I did pick up um, a pair of sunglasses from Dollar Tree. They have some beautiful sunglasses right now actually i saw a couple pairs but i decided to wait and i'll probably go back and get the other pair that i saw that i thought was very cute um so i did get my brushes they came in the male person has brought them to me but i'll go ahead and start with the eyeshadow palette i went ahead and picked up the hard candy um what is this? It's the 15 multi-dimensional shades, matte, satin, shimmer, and glitter. Um, they got three different kinds. I picked the neutral light palette out of all of them. I feel like this is more like neutral tones or natural tones. And then it has some also some like smoky tones in there so you can really fix up. And I think I'm going to use this palette today because I haven't created my Taylor Tuesday video quite yet but you do get some glitter tones as it says um, you do have some shimmer tones such as this one and that one and then also you get some what does it say uh, glitter I did say glitter shimmer and satin satin tones like this one so yeah I went ahead and picked this up I have been seeing it for a while and I was like I don't know what hard candy palettes i do like them you know the original ones are more thicker um and i do like them but a lot of times you have to put extra effort a little bit to get the pigment to show but i do like the palette certain colors is very easy to use it's like the palette some colors is really easy to blend and then some of them are not then some of them are a little bit more pigmented i would say the pigmentation is good but it's just sometimes it's a little bit hard to blend and y'all know i'm not the best blender okay when it comes down to eyeshadows but i'm better than what i used to be but anyways y'all this is what the shades look like this is like a ten dollar palette so i thought that that was very very reasonable and i just love these glitter tones y'all know how i love the glitter in the center i put it right on my lid i've been loving that and i like these glitter tones here on the side so i got that palette and then i picked up a wet and wild uh matte lipstick in cherry um it's like a deep cherry tone let's take a look at it i felt like why not bring out because i brought out some autumn tone lipsticks last night and i thought you know what i think i'm gonna pick up this color because it's like I think I already have the color over there because I went through my lipstick um, collection and I brought out the fall time lipstick colors, like the deep tones. And this is very deep tone, but it's like a cherry color. See, it's got that red, but it's very beautiful, y'all. The color is so cute. So I got this here and I'll probably create a look using this today. And, of course, y'all know y'all will see an eye makeup look using this palette. However, I'm waiting on the other palette to get here. But I got that one. I got the lipstick at Walmart. And then at Dollar Tree, I picked up these sunglasses. I thought they were pretty cool. Like, they're round and <laughs> they're like my kind of style. And then it has this design on top. And I saw another pair because um, y'all know I bought these from Dollar Tree. I told y'all, I love these. Like, I love the shape of them. I don't have a shape of I uh, sunglasses like this. And so I thought that these are really, really cool. And the orange color, I just think it's really nice. So, and I saw that they had restocked, I think. Or either I just didn't see this pair the last time I got these. And so these are like brown shades. And then, of course, it's like this 
uh, brown red shade. What is this? Is it sort of burgundy? No, it's not burgundy, but it's like, it has a little orange in there. So yeah, it's like a marble type design on top here. So this is what they look like. Yes, I knew I would like them. Oh my gosh, I like these. Y'all, these are at Dollar Tree. If you have a Dollar Tree buy, check out the sunglasses because you can wear sunglasses all year round. So yeah, why not? Okay, so this is the pair of sunglasses. There's one more pair that I think I saw. It might have been two. One or two more pairs I want to get. So I'll probably pick up them the next time I get to go off or get to go to the store. Those are absolutely fabulous. And now I have these eye, uh, actually face and eyeshadow brushes. This is what they look like, y'all. These were like $5 and some change. So cute, inexpensive, and I feel like they're going to be a very good, good, good amount, like a very good quality brushes. Let me see. I'm going to open them up. They're like brand new. I, I don't know if I really want to wash them. Like most people say, wash them, girl. Like every one of them has a covering. Like look at this one. This is the, um, I use this for concealer or the contour brush. That's what it looks like, y'all. So got one of those. Then I've got, uh... I think this is a powder brush. So, yeah, powder or blush brush. I think. Okay. So, yeah, you can use them for whatever you like. Y'all know that. And then this one here is like a contour brush. They're like sample, like travel size brushes, but I don't care. At this point, I just need some brushes. I just want new brushes in my collection. Uh, this one here is the uh, foundation brush. It's like a kabuki type of brush. So nice to put application of makeup with that one. And then this one, not sure what this one is. Uh, this one could be maybe the blush or the bronzer brush. Yeah. Okay, I got that one. I know they look a little funny, but like I said, I feel like I'm going to wash them. I normally do. Um, I thought there was going to be a blender in here. And honestly, I don't see a blender. Uh, well, a small blender. Here's a blender here, but it's very small, but it's, it's still wearable. Like you can use this in, right into the crease, like a crease brush. So... There's the crease brush. And then I have also an, a liner brush or either an eyebrow liner brush. You know, you can use them for either or. Then you have this one here, which is like the, I use this for like a shadow on the lash line or right into the corner for the outer corner type of brush. I don't know what you call it. And then you can also use this brush to highlight underneath the brow bone if you want to. And also add color into the inner corner to highlight or whatnot or to smudge out your shadow as well. So you can do numerous things with this brush. And then I have just a flat, um, no, this one, I think I have two of them. Yeah, here's two flat eyeshadow brushes just to pack on eyeshadow on the lid or whatnot. Yes, that's that one. And then I have one that's even better to like really add shimmer on. I love this type of brush for sh shimmer or either for glitter. So that's a good brush for glitter and shimmer. So that's all of my brushes, y'all, that I got there. But I will be purchasing more because for $5 and you get all those brushes, there's some bigger size brushes as well. So I'll probably get some more because I just really want to like the, the brushes that I've been currently using. I like a lot. Okay. Um, but there are some that I have that I don't want anymore. So I've got to replace those brushes because sometimes I just don't clean my brushes 
um, every week like I used to. Like I got some, I clean my brushes, but believe it or not, I've already stacked up on brushes because I'm making videos every day. So I'm gonna have to get with this as far as what I used to do, which is always clean my brushes on Sunday afternoon or in the morning, okay? And that way I never have dirty brushes and beauty sponges. So I'm gonna get back to that. But I'm still gonna buy new brushes. I don't care if they're travel size brushes or whatnot. You can still use those on a regular basis. Um, but I do have some regular size brushes here that I'm gonna keep. But the other ones that I've had, I probably just, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get rid of them. I think I'm just going to keep them and just remember, hey, I remember using this brush when I first started doing YouTube, that sort of thing. Um, so I've learned that certain brushes just work better. I feel like every so long, it's sort of like beauty sponges or whatnot. Every so long, you should buy new brushes because when the brushes are fairly new, or just slightly used, they work better with eyeshadows and even foundations. When they get super duper old, I feel like they don't, you can still use them, but I feel like they don't work or they don't uh, supply the product on your face as good. Like they kind of get kind of like when you add on something, it might be patchy looking because the brushes, some of the brushes have come out sometimes when you wash it and wash it and wash it and you've had them for years and years and years. So some of the brushes get very um, loose or whatnot. And so therefore, when you put on application of makeup, um, it just doesn't look as good. Even eyeshadow uh, brushes, they're like that too. So every so long, y'all, you got to replenish brushes. I'm telling you, the makeup business is very expensive, okay? I mean, you can get cheap. Now you can get cheaper products anywhere. Like that whole set of brushes was $5 and some change. So don't let nobody tell you you can't find some cheap brushes. I don't care if they're travel size because that's really what you consider travel size brushes. But let me tell you, you can still wear, use them every day, you know, as your regular brushes. And don't forget, Dollar General has amazing brushes. I got a bunch of them. Like, this one right here, oh my God, this is so good. This is the, I forget what they call this one. I think um, it's a certain name, but you can use this with foundation. You can use this with concealer. Um, you can use this to contour with, with bronzer, everything. Just about everything you can do with this brush, okay? And you can get this at Dollar General for like, four dollars i believe this brush and it's full size like a full size brush it's sort of travel size but honestly it's full size because it's it's a little bit bigger than the ones that i got but y'all this brush is amazing so you can find amazing cheap inexpensive brushes that really does work and blend out and look amazing okay your foundation will look amazing or whatever you use it for you can also use that brush to add on powder but i think it's more for liquid I do have one that I think that I got for powder, and I don't know where it's at, y'all, but they got some, and they got eyeshadow brushes as well. Um, I got some of those also. So if you're looking for inexpensive brushes, go to Amazon, y'all. Like You can get a whole pack of like 24 to 30 piece set of brushes for maybe sometimes, it just depends on the seller. I've gotten some for like $7.99, $6.99, just depends um, who the seller is. And if you have to wait a little while, wait a little while, but you will get some quality, quality brushes, okay? And even check on Shein. Shein has some brushes too because She Glam is amazing. Just saying because, y'all, makeup and stuff, it does have to be replenished after so long. You cannot... Like, if you want the stuff to look really good after so long, you got to just switch up, buy some new stuff. Get it little at a time, okay? Little at a time works, all right? So, y'all, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat my lunch. And, well, no, y'all probably don't want to see that. But I'll let y'all see what I'm going to eat. It's just a quick meal. Um, I'm going to slide this over here to the side because I need to wash those. I'm going to show y'all the outfit of the day. 
and my food is already ready let me go ahead and get it out real quick y'all hold on y'all i know <laughs> i look so funny with no makeup on i've got to put on some and do my taylor tuesday video but this is what i'm eating for lunch okay it's like a little piece of salisbury steak a little bit of mashed potatoes let me just pull it down <clears throat> this is what i'm eating here i got salisbury patty a little bit of uh, mashed potatoes there on the side just a little bit then i've got a little bit of corn and then i have some of this apple sort of like applesauce but it has a little cinnamon and it has real like cut up apples in it i don't know really what you call that but it tastes like applesauce but with cinnamon added to it and then corn salisbury steak with a little gravy and just a little bit of potatoes that's what i'm gonna eat because i haven't ate breakfast um although i cheated and ate some um I cheated and I ate some uh, donuts. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait, y'all. Sorry. I just could not wait on, you know, uh, my food. So I'm going to cut on this light real quick. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That really shows off everything. Y'all see my under eyes, how, um, y'all, I've just been dreaming like crazy. And normally when I dream like, a lot and it's not bad dreams it's just like dreams and my under eyes always look like this when i dream i think everybody does and <laughs> so, and i've got to put on that concealer when i get ready to put on my makeup but if y'all seeing my under eyes that's what's going on like i've been dreaming and when i dream a lot this is how my under eyes look the next day and i've just been dreaming i i I've been really resting really good to be quite honest and um <clears throat> I've been doing this exercise routine and I've been really liking it because I get my goal and I do sweat and I do uh burn calories and I've been really liking it and when I whenever I exercise I always have a good night's sleep even though I'm dreaming I'm having a good night's sleep so um exercise just make me feel better like having just a little bit i don't do intense exercise i couldn't if i wanted to okay because of my balance problems and stuff with my ears you know i can't get too you know i can't turn my head too quick and move around too quick um so i can't do intense workout but what i do it is working out and i see it i mean it's working for me my stomach looks amazing i can see a difference with my stomach um i'm noticing a change however i can't wait to see how it's gonna how everything's gonna look like because i'm gonna continue doing these exercises that i do on a regular because I was walking back and forth, which is good. I'm, I'm going to walk sometimes. I'm not going to stop walking. But what I do is still comparable to the walking because I still get to my goal. Um, however, walking is good for you. So I probably walk every once in a while. Maybe, I don't know. I was walking um, for at least, uh, but taking breaks at least an hour and a half to two hours to get to my goal probably two out no it, it was probably two and a half to three hours because i would take breaks and so um yeah I'm, i like that because that's healthy too but what i'm doing right now i'm working out all over i feel like when i'm walking it's good for the heart health the blood pressure all that stuff in the legs and all that stuff but what I'm doing right now, I'm working out all over. Like the exercises are for my arms, it's for my uh, stomach, it's for my legs, it's for the entire body. It's like a full body workout, but it's very simple, y'all. Very good and gentle. If y'all are just beginners like I am, I never worked out. I never went to a gym, okay? <laughs> and never did I have to um i was just one of those that was whenever you know i only went on a diet one time 
No, two times before this time, okay? So this may be the third time I've been on a diet, y'all. I never had to because I was just, my metabolism was high. I never had to work out. And so um, medical reasons is why I had to do uh, these this diet and the previous diet. But the first one was just trying to lose baby weight which is very normal i'm not going to talk about that it's very normal and that that's just the way it is that's how i became plus size and i don't regret it okay plus size loving it okay but i want to be healthy and still lose a little weight because i am overweight and i feel like i need to get to a certain size even though when i get to that certain size i'm still overweight but not real bad overweight if you know what i mean so um, the exercise I'm doing is a full body workout, but it's very simple and very easy. And if you are a beginner, it is a very good first step. Okay. And then I also do an exercise where it focuses just for the stomach. Okay. And it's so simple, but let me tell you, you will feel it. You will feel that this, this exercise is going to work. You can feel feel it it's very simple it's like seven minutes okay but what you do you sit down and you do these certain movements and i feel it it's working okay and of course i do some exercise uh standing up but it's very simple and easy it's like um very good for anybody that may have a disability and want some exercise or if you are a beginner and you need to like kind of get with it because when you first start let me tell you even right now sometimes i still get off like out of line with the instructor because i never had to exercise and so it's like really funny i kind of giggle because i'm not used to it but you know, it's really good. It's beginner friendly and it's not anything that's really fast where you can't, you know, get back into the rhythm of what the instructor is telling you and stuff like that. So it's really designed, man. Let me tell you, this this exercise is really designed for this people with disabilities, but it's also good, I feel like, for beginners. Anybody that wants to exercise and you have never been to a gym or never exercised or had to exercise or you exercise in other ways and never really had to have an instructor to tell you what to do and all that i think it's wonderful and i've been doing it and i've been loving it okay i've been loving the things that i've been doing lately i've been burning my calories and extra um just by doing these exercises and i do it i do those exercises over in the evening so when it's time for dinner if i want me you know whatever uh usually it's always with a salad i always have a salad because salad is less calories and guacamole is good you know stuff like that but i can have me a patty a lean one a lean patty or some chicken not fried but baked chicken like that something that i really desire even if it's a little bit of potatoes you know i can eat just a little bit of that because i know i've exercised a good bit of what i've ate like what i'm eating right now i will burn this stuff okay i'm gonna burn <laughs> this um this meal here off in a little while and even this soda uh, yes i have to have at least one soda i want to get back to the diet sodas i usually like diet dr pepper and I can't drink it anymore because every time I get to drinking it, it gives me, it, it almost every time I get a, not every time, but it starts a UTI. And so I cannot, it's too strong. So I have to go to or try a different kind. I like Sprite, but I don't like diet Sprite. I've tried that before and I don't really like it, but I'm going to try to drink it because Sprite is very gentle to me. One of the gentle drinks you can drink is a Sprite, in my opinion. But better than that, water. Lemon water is what I really like. But y'all, lemon nail, I don't know what it is. I think it's just my swollen thyroid. Uh, something about it, I can't drink it like I used to. It's like irritable. And I think it's just because my thyroid is swollen 
or I have these nodules and, and my thyroid is swollen. You know, I think it's that, but I'm not sure why I can't drink lemon water. Because if I could drink lemon water, y'all would be surprised at how much weight I can lose with lemon water. And then I'm exercising on top of that. Oh my goodness, I've been and got my to my goal, okay? But I just can't drink it like I used to. And I thought about putting some some of the berries in there, but I don't know if it would take away the whole purpose of the lemon and what the lemon does to help you or I, you and I to lose weight. I don't know if that would I'm pretty sure it's still helpful. It still work. But it's not like just lemon and water. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you guys. I'm just all about health, trying to get myself in a healthy... Um, I'm just trying to get healthy in the meantime of me also having procedures done, like as far as concerning my health and all that stuff. I just want to be a better person all around, okay? Not just putting on clothes, putting on makeup and stuff like that. I really want to also do something for myself, the inside as well as the outside. Y'all know what I'm saying? I really do. So, y'all, let me stand up and show y'all my outfit of the day, which is a top that I showed on my... What? Okay, it is a top that I showed on my um, Cheap Monday. I love this top because I finally got me one like this that I've been wanting for a long time that actually fits me right, okay? It didn't pull up. I went to the store with it on and everything. It didn't go up. It didn't go down. It's just the perfect size. I'm so happy, and this is so pretty. I'm going to put on some makeup here in a minute and get started on my Taylor Tuesday video. But anyways, let me stand up and show y'all what I put on. It's going to be very simple. Excuse me. Very simple. I'm getting all these messages, y'all. It's very simple what I got on, which is just this top from yesterday that I paired with the P PU Leather um skirt um if you have not watched my fashion channel to see cheek monday please go check it out because i did put two outfits in there one is a ruffle uh overall dress and the other one is just the pu leather skirt with this oh my god it's so pretty with the pu leather skirt i should just put that one in there and waited another day to put on the overall ruffle dress but you know <laughs> I don't know. I started out with the overall ruffle dress, and then I thought this doesn't look as good as I thought it would. But it's cute. But it was it didn't look as good as I thought it would. And then when I put on the piggy leather skirt, oh my gosh, this and that skirt, amazing. Okay, but let me show y'all. I got this on with a pair of my blue jeans, and I absolutely love it. Okay, so let me go ahead and stand up and show you. I've showed y'all these jeans several, several times, okay? Um, so these are some of my favorite jeans, as well as the ones by InStyles, or InStyles. What is it called? InStyles. Um, yeah, I love these jeans. Um, I like it with this top as well. Like, I really do. I think it looks good, okay? I got the red, y'all, I know. I got two of these now. I got two of these red um, <laughs> bralettes, and I love them because they're comfortable, and something about this one it just kind of gives me a little bit of a lift rather than the other ones that I wear. Um, so this is what I have on for today. And I'm sorry about not having no makeup on. I know it could have looked better with makeup. But, y'all, sometimes it's just good to be natural and just go do what you got to do without putting on makeup. And that, that happens to be what happened today. And plus, I knew I was going to create the um, Taylor Tuesday video. Make So I was going to have to put on some makeup anyway. And I didn't want to throw on makeup this morning just because I have to do that video. But yeah, y'all, this is the outfit of the day for today. 
I always forget. That's my ear medicine over there, if y'all see that. But anyways, um, yeah, y'all, this is what I got on. Now, I did pair it with the in-size, in inside, I keep on pronouncing it wrong, in-size, y'all. The brand that reached out with me to me, um, I did wear the top with it. And remember, this top was a little small when I got it. Uh, they didn't have a two, a size two X. They only had a one X. But I did put this on top of it, and I wore it just like this, like unbuttoned and all, because I wasn't going anywhere to dress up. But you could button it up. And leave the tie out if you wanted to. And it's so warm outside, I wasn't going to button it up. But this is such a beautiful, like, shirt. I wish they had, I probably try to buy a size two or three. Um, man, I didn't button up wrong. But I try to get that myself. Um, Cause I was given a certain amount of money to go back on the site and I think I'm gonna get this top in a bigger size so you can pull out the bow like this if you want to and I just think that's cute I mean and you can even pull in the pants like this, this style that everybody's wearing, like one side pulled in like this. Um, yeah. Then you can have the bow out. This is what it looks like on the side. I just think that's really cute. The bow is everything with this top. Um, you can pull both sides in on this side as well if you want to. I like it like that better. And I just like the two different kind of denims together looks so cute y'all i really like this so this is very comfy and casual and very cute now you can wear it like that or like i said you can wear it unbuttoned the way i had it um when you want a, just a casual look with a nice little cute top on this is what i had on y'all it's so cute i love it like it so yeah, this is the outfit of the day for today. Just me going around. I had to go to pick up a, some bananas. I had to get me some lean beef for supper. And I got that eyeshadow palette and that lipstick. And then, uh, of course, um, I had to go to Dollar Tree. So that's what I did today. So, y'all, that is the outfit of the day with no makeup on, okay? <laughs> so, I probably want, I don't know if I'm going to even do one of those little short videos because I just don't have the makeup on. But with the sunglasses on, this is what it looks like, the top and all that. So, that's kind of what I had going on today. But, anyways, y'all, I better eat because my food is getting very, very cold. And once again, this is just, I'll let y'all take a look at it. Like, this is the little Salisbury steak and the mashed potatoes. And then here's a little bit of the corn. With it all together, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for lunchtime. So, yeah, y'all. That is it. That's the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please come back for another video because y'all, I got to show y'all this palette. I got to use those brushes. Um, And then I have a palette that's coming and something else, a foundation that's coming. So there will be a makeup video for this week. As soon as I get everything, I'm going to create that video. Probably be... Like I said, I got my surgery coming Friday, so I won't do anything Friday, okay? That'll probably be Saturday or Sunday when I will create the video, so stay tuned for that. 
And yeah, y'all, I love y'all and appreciate y'all. And please come back for more fabulous chat, chit chat videos, haul videos, and outfits of the day videos. I appreciate y'all and love y'all. And thank you for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>